It could be one for the books. The first day of this year's Tucson Festival of Books is under wraps, and organizers say it could be the biggest crowd they've ever had. Tens of thousands flooded the U of A Mall for one of the largest book festivals in the nation. Organizers expect the crowd will top 120,000, a record. But the growing popularity may not be the best thing for Tucson's local literary members. Nine on your side, Simone Del Rosario explains. Authors call Tucson's Festival of Books great exposure, great crowds, captive audiences, worth the trip and their traveling troubles, especially for Maria Konakova of New York. No direct flights from New York. It's kind of, it's a pain. You have to really invest the time, but I'm so glad I came because not only is the weather beautiful. But her book sold out halfway through the first day. And the festival is not just great for authors. Mara Leone is an eighth grader at Sierra Middle School. I just came to the book festival with um, my class, but I'm really looking for inspiration because I'm writing a book myself. She hopes to have a booth at the festival in the future, but will it be feasible? The fee for an author to have a booth is upwards of $500, well more than double where it started back in 2009. That's where it should stop, hopefully. <laughs> I hope they make lots of money in other ways. Fireship Press is a local publishing company that has been at the festival for several years. To us as a small publisher, it's quite an outlay just to, to have a presence here. And we're hopeful that that won't rock it out of, out of reach. Last year, they did not break even. But this year, the big crowds in the first day of sales are giving them more hope. Simone Del Rosario, KGA 9 on your side. The fee for a booth has been the same for the last year, but organizers say after this year, they'll need to reevaluate because of high demand. Proceeds of the event go to local literacy programs. In the last five years, the festival has donated nearly $1 million.